Like with the console version, Drone is responsible for the drone position, movement and creation, which is indicated by the constructor below here. Then we have some getter functions which return the values of dx and dy for later reference. A string returns the uh, string info on the drone and it's at all its aspects. Try to move tries to move the drone in said direction and if it can't then it will change to the next direction. However this time it can move in all 16 directions depending on which way it wants to go which allows for more flexibility of the drone's movements in the canvas unlike before on the console version. Like before, we have the Drone Arena class, which specifies the arena for which the drones will be added onto later by this uh, constructor given here. Then add drone will add the drone to the arena once the arena has been created. Move all drones will be responsible for moving all the drones in the arena once they've been added. Can move here checks to see if the drones can move to the spot, and if it can't, it won't. Public boolean is here will check if the drone is at the spot if there's a drone at the spot already and it has inbuilt collision detection system for any drones that will collide into a wall on another drone so that will prevent that from happening and to string will print the details of the arena and the drone count so my canvas is responsible for the actual canvas creation and the uh, image of the drone for the for which it will be added on to later so it's specified by this constructor given here for the canvas size the arena color the actual canvas color for the arena will be determined by the set fill arena color as shown here change canvas actually changes the actual canvas for each time the drone moves and create drone will actually draw the image specified above into the actual canvas so like with the console version, the direction class is responsible for the directions in which the drones will move across the canvas, which is determined by the set directions here given below. Uh, get random direction will pick one of these directions at complete randomness and will check will be checked in this get next direction method, which will see if the direction is possible and if it can't, then it will change to the next direction. So finally, we have drone interface, which has which culminates what we've looked at in the other classes into nice set features for a graphical, nice graphical look, as we can see here in this class below. So these menu features will be shown above in the border pane of the application window, and this will be shown as a list on the side of the application window. And the stage will set all the buttons, uh, canvas and drones, within the border pane in a nice format. And uh, this main method will start the application.